So let's, let's shift gears a little bit. All right. Because one of the things that when you're a speaker, mm -hmm. and I had uh, Joyce Joya here earlier, and we are talking about reinventing. Right. She's been a speaker for a quarter century, and some people here much longer than mm -hmm. that. There's a lot of things that come and go, and new technologies and new tools. And when right. I first got into the business, you know, full time six years ago, but really ten years ago, it was blogging. That was sort of the hot right. thing. Right. Right. And we've seen it with videos. You've seen it with a lot of stuff. We've seen it with the the the, the, the facilitated mastermind groups right. that you put right. on as a service for people. There's a lot of things that come up. And nowadays, there's kind of a hot topic that seems to be coming up a lot. Hot topic. And what's that? Podcasting. Podcasting. So I don't know how many of you who are listening listen to podcasts. You have them on iTunes. You know, now that all the new cars, uh, the 2016 and beyonds, are coming out with right. podcasts embedded into their system through iTunes or through Stitcher, that all of a sudden, I think in the next two years, podcasts are going to just get even more. Right. Something. And as purveyors of the spoken word, which is really what we are, sure. why wouldn't we explore another avenue to to provide that to our clients and to the world. Absolutely. Do we know anybody who does that? Gosh, well, let's hmm. see. How about if you step out and we bring in Craig Price? I think that would oh, be an excellent... Oh, look over here. He's photobombing. Oh, there it's he Craig is. Price. Yeah, Craig Price. Come and sit in my chair. No, no, she's leaving. Yeah, she's I'm, leaving. I have that effect on back. a lot of women. So. <laughs> yeah, Craig, Craig comes in and, and the, the pretty girls leave. Yep, That's been happening for years. run from the room. It's my <laughs> magnetic personality. It's in the wrong polarity. That's the problem. That's right. So Craig Price is a speaker and a podcaster and a photographer. Craig Price is sort of a renaissance man. He is. I feel weird <laughs> talking about me in the third person. That's right. Yes, I'm all of those things, and uh, I'd like to think more. So, yeah. so, Craig, podcasts have become hot, and a lot of people are just jumping on the bandwagon. I started a podcast 10 months ago, so I'm kind of a late comer, although still sort of an early comer to the game. But you have had the Reality Check podcast for how long? Uh, we're going to restart our fifth year next year, so it's four and a half years. So you're way ahead of the curve. So I'm probably one of the first speakers who had a podcast. From what I can tell, yes. Uh, I mean, there are others, but... There, it seems like there's been what we call pod fading, where you've got speakers that uh, they did 10, 15 episodes uh, and then so disappeared. pod fading is they start the podcast and, and then they fade. fade out? Yep. A lot of it's not fading. It's usually... It plop off a cliff. Pod plopping? Yes. Uh, and, but, uh, but there's uh, plenty of folks that still do it you know, full-time uh, for years. I just happen to be the one that's most obnoxious in my marketing. Sure. Uh, I'm constantly asking uh, NSA speakers on, so I, I kind of happen to fall into that niche where everybody, when they think podcasting in they NSA, think of, they, they think, think of, of me. Craig. Okay, so Craig, why would a speaker, Eliz uh, alluded to this early on, that hey, one of the reasons, uh, you know, we're the purveyors of the spoken word, but besides that, why is a podcast a good idea for a speaker? And you're doing a session here at Influence, I don't know if it's going to be simulcast, but you're doing a session here on... It is not being simulcast, okay, but, but what's it, it is being recorded so for you, a podcast. So, you, Well, you can then listen to the podcast yes. or you can buy the recordings from NSA. Mm -hmm. So what is your session about? We're going to be talking about podcasting, but we're going to t focus on format to make sure that you have a successful podcast long term. We talked about the pod baiting, how that's a huge problem, 50% of all podcasts quit after seven episodes. It's is, that low? I would have thought it's even higher. No, it's after seven, people get tired because they think it's a magic bullet. And just like blogs, just like YouTube, just like anything you do, you've got to market it just like you would market all your other things. It's not a magic bullet. If you don't have a platform, it will not magically create one. But if you have a platform, it's a great way to grow your platform because now you're picking up people that choose the, your content the way they want to hear it or see it. So Craig, I have no idea because I didn't poll the audience. I have no idea how, I mean everybody I'm sure knows what a podcast is, but I don't know how many people actively listen or have their own. So let's go back to kind of the basics of what is a podcast? A podcast is, t in the technical terms, it's any kind of medium, so it can be video or audio, that has an RSS feed. That's what makes it a podcast. So basically you subscribe to it and then it's automatically sent to you when you when it's released. And so you can get that through iTunes, through Stitcher, or through other Oh yeah, there's, there's, there's all kinds of apps that you can do. So as long as you have that RSS feed, which you can create on your own, you can get on the website, you can do all kinds of ways of creating that feed. If they can subscribe to it through whatever medium they use, that's how they get it. Okay, so Craig, Craig made it. iTunes is the most preferred. Though. Sure, it is. Like something like 80% of all podcasts yes. are coming through iTunes. So Craig made a comment that it's not a magic bullet. A podcast isn't going to miraculously leap you to the top of the speaking world or anything like that. But how can a speaker use a podcast to supplement their business? Well, first off, this, a podcast, especially an audio podcast, is the single best way, I think, to 
expose your ex expertise because what do you do for a living? You speak. What do people do when you speak? They listen. So a format in audio is perfect way to um, explain uh, long form, short form, who you are, what you do, what your expertise is on a regular basis. So tell us about the Reality Check podcast. What do you do? Well, my podcast is a uh, is kind of like the anti niche podcast. <laughs> I, it's I do it for various reasons, and one of them is for fun. Um, I really enjoy talking to new and different people every week. So literally each week it's completely different. Uh, it's not like most podcasts which I would recommend to niche. Like we always talk about digging deep and going a mile deep and an inch wide. With me, I'm the opposite. I go a mile wide and I hit on everything from orangutan rescue to FBI agents. Um, I interviewed a uh, brothel owner uh, in England. How do you market to a in a business where you can't market. Right. Yeah. How and, do you market an illegal business? Yeah, but how do you market to a, as something that you can't market? And that's where you get some marketing ideas that you could use in your own business. Sure. So I try to I try to pull a little business experience every every episode I can, but then some are just pure fun. Like last year I was able to be at NSA in San Diego and we did a live episode and I do a we talked about speaker issues. I just finished one today that'll come out in a couple weeks that's about uh, we talked about fee integrity and um, what's we, were, we debated is it worth speaking for free do you never speak for free all these issues that speakers have that we kind of politely talk about but we got to be real that's right. what the whole thing is, is be as real as possible so I like to try to get to the past the, the firewall sure into the reality of people's jobs people's uh, perspectives thus the name reality check absolutely so if somebody wants to find the reality check podcast where would they find that add.com to that realitycheckpodcast.com that's clever uh, go reality check with craig price uh, i've got apps i've got uh, you can get it on any any mode google plus uh, all these things so in your session what is the meat what are you going to give people who come to your session that's a good question. I'm not quite sure. I think I, I think I've planned, and I'm not. I think I've planned. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna talk about getting a format that allow you to be successful. Because when you jump into it, you all of a sudden the first couple of weeks. I know you are a prolific. You do like two a week. I do two shows a week. And so Tuesday and Thursday. But when you first started out, I don't think you understood maybe the time commitment. You, yeah. Yeah. And you travel a lot. I mean, you're you're one of the most busy speakers I know. You're constantly somewhere. And you have to think about, well, I'm not home at 11 p.m. on Tuesday every day. So how am I going to do a format that's going to fit me, my schedule? So sometimes you have to I stockpile. Yep. Um, maybe you have a mastermind group that you, want, you all want to share in. So now you have to get schedules to coordinate. So it's really about thinking ahead, being thoughtful about what you want to use your podcast for, and how am I going to be able to put it out on a regular basis. And once you have those things going on, then you can figure out what technology you're going to need, uh, and what your audience is going to for, and then you can tweak. So I really want to make people successful versus just getting them out there podcasting. Sure. Now, in preparing for your session here at Influence, Wait a we're supposed to prepare for sessions? for preparing for your session for okay. Influence 15. Uh, I know that you put a lot of stuff on Facebook and within the NSA community asking for speakers who podcast. Yes. So what did you find with the different speakers podcasts that are out there besides mine? Well, I found sadly that most people only have iTunes links. And what you really need to do is direct them to your to your website. Just like your blogs are supposed to direct people towards a sales funnel kind of situation. I'm not I you know me, I'm the least salesy guy in the world. Sure. Uh, you want to direct people in a way where you can capture their email address, you can you can interact with them more closely and more actively, and you can't do that with iTunes. iTunes, they'll subscribe to it and they listen to it, but if you can drive them to your website, get at email addresses, build your list, now you're starting to make a business out of it or using it for your business, and you, you can get them value. Our next guest is photobombing us. Go away. We're almost done. You'll get your time. Former former guest on the yeah, show, David he, Newman. He will no longer be the next guest. And here's the thing uh, that I really want to tell everybody who's watching. If someone asks you to be on a podcast, do it. Don't sit there and ask them, well, what are your statistics and who are your listeners? And it's unbelievable practice. So when quote unquote real media comes knocking on sure. your door, 60 minutes, you've got some practice. But if, if and as a speaker, you should be helping each other out and getting each other on. You've been on my podcast multiple times. I've been on your podcast three times and yep. you've been on my podcast 
once for pity. One time. It one was time. not for pity. It was. You introduced it as a pity thing. <laughs> and it was, but, so, anyway, but I appreciate it. We had a fun time. We did have a fun time. But one of the things is I've been on your show several times, and my belief is when you're on someone's show, the other thing you need to do as a speaker is take that out to your own audience, whether you have a blog or whether you have social media or you send out a newsletter. If you're a guest on someone's show, push that out. I find that many of my guests never tweet. I'll tweet out that they're there and I will put their hashtag on it and they'll like it, which means it tells Tom, I saw that you tweeted this, but they don't tell their audience. One of the best things you can do as a guest is to promote the heck out of Craig's show or anybody's show. Well, I think a big mistake that uh, a lot of new podcasters, they think that if they get a big celebrity, that that's going to bring a great audience to it. They're just going to huge numbers. And that's not the case because you're not the only podcast they've been on, maybe that week. Right. So you get caught in their machine, and so they don't tweet as nearly as much as they want or should. Are we, are we running over? I'm photobombing. Oh, okay. She's photobombing. So, so Elis, you've listened to Reality she's Check. She's been on I've it. been on Several times. Yeah, twice. Twice, twice at least. Twice. So you don't have your own podcast. I do not. But if you were to have a podcast, what would be the advice you would give to people about why you would start one? I think if it serves your business model, if it's a way, both if it serves your business model and it's something that you are comfortable doing because you're going to have to be consistent at it. And, and any of these, we all come to these conferences and we get these great ideas. It only works if it works for you. Exactly. Yeah. You have to enjoy it. And that's the one thing I, I tell people right up front. If you don't like it, don't do it. Right. Um, right. I'm not a blogger. I wrote blogs for a long time. It didn't seem to work for me. And now I feel like it's a chore. But podcasting doesn't feel like a chore, especially right. since I get to hang out with Liz and Tom and right. a lot of cool people. And, and, and get... it, it, content is king. So when you're creating content, you're driving people to your website. That's the key. And you know who else is really good at uh, marketing and getting well, I, word out there? I bet it's our next guest. Well, I guess it is. When I think of marketing, the only two words come to mind. What? David Newman. David Newman? Excellent. David Newman is marketing. So, Craig, thank you hey, for sharing the podcasting you with our audience. Good to see you. I hope, please, 4.30. Uh, if you don't come, you can at least listen to it. Uh, it'll be free. It's one of the few ones that are free. That's so. right. Excellent. All right. So, thank you very much. Thank you.